embarking on all this physical activity has been really helpful. I'll admit I was scared at first and I started off really, really slowly. Thankfully, um, Dr. Green, uh, Joyce Sell, her nurse practitioner, and even my uh, UCSD family med doctor, uh, they were really helpful in helping me cope through this and they told me, they said, you can still lead a normal life. So we knew that she was going to need a pacemaker. In addition to that, she also has a genetic disorder called Long QT syndrome, which increases the risk of dying suddenly. So she needed the combination of a defibrillator pacemaker. About 700,000 new devices go in worldwide. That is about 1.4 million leads. And we want them to work well, and almost always they do. And the patients who get the devices, they feel better and they, they can save the patients' lives. But because so many of them go in, we, there will be problems. It's uh, important to be able to be precise um, to be familiar with the, uh, the tissues, the quality of tissues that you can expect, different areas along the lead, um, as the lead traverses through uh, the vasculature, has different uh, tensions that you can apply to it. And uh, as I work with uh, the, these tissues on a daily basis in a direct vision open uh, procedure for my uh, open heart cases, I have a familiarity and therefore uh, um, can translate that familiarity over into uh, uh, knowing on a 2D x-ray image more or less what kind of uh, tension the tissues can uh, tolerate at that place and uh, also where we had, have adhesions, what are the angles that we can uh, apply and uh, which angles are necessary to be able to advance the laser. And as we put more and more leads in we need to really be able to provide a service to the patient when we can say you know, we can put them in, but we can also safely take the leads out and really offer the comprehensive care package to the patients. She really did a great job adjusting to living with the device and, and has gone about living, having children, uh, being very active, working, and it's, it's been wonderful to see. It's been basically almost eight years now to the day, and I feel like I'm at a good place. And I would have to attribute that to my care from UCSD, and especially the Department of Cardiology.